Edit underscore movie hello and welcome to third episode of Austrian School TV. Today's topic will be, how free market currencies can save Europe. In a free market economy if you want take a loan, the first thing that happens is that the bank asks you for your money. Credentials. The bank will determine the risk of loaning the money to you and determines an interest rate on those qualifications. The bank has to take into consideration how much people have saved in his bank. If the bank has a lot of capital, it can lower the interest to borrow to you, and if less people have their money in your bank the rate will be higher. The problem we had with the euro was that countries such as Spain or Greece had lower valued currencies and had higher interest rate to borrow. When the interest rate were lowered because of a common currency, the PIS, Portugal, Italy, Ireland, Greece and Spain government were able to borrow with very low interest rate and able to increase their own debt. The other problem was that many companies and banks used this opportunity to invest in those countries and took too much risk based on the low interest policy of the euro. During this time the European Union was subsidized eating these countries in order to prop up their economy. After 10 years of financial support the effects have been minimal. There are many experts who have come up with different solutions. Some have argued that countries such as Greece should leave the euro and devalue their own currencies. Others have argued that the euro should be kept by any way possible because even if only Greece should leave the euro this will lead to a domino effect in other countries such as Portugal, Spain and Italy. My solution for now would be the end of the euro, as the project might have looked nice in theory it has failed in the real world we live in. Countries such as Germany or Greece have different types of economies and cannot be brought to the same level by subsidizing them. My long-term solution is the creation of free market currencies. Of course this does not mean that we should abolish the central banks immediately. The first step is to make private currencies legal. This means that any burden on gold or silver coins should be removed in order for them to compete with government issued fiat currencies. People should not fear the lose of their hard-earned money based on the incompetence of their political leaders. A government-mandated gold standard has shown to not work since government don't take it seriously, as we saw with the Brenton Wood Agreement. The U.S. government was spending more than the gold it had, and was not able to fulfill its promises it made to redeem the money into gold. If you are interested in free market currencies I recommend you the book The Denationalization of Money by Professor Friedberg von Hayek. Please subscribe to my Facebook page under facebook.com slash Austrian School.